Hey, thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to go over a basic ocean pour. This will give you some information about different color techniques, as well as the dry time in between layers, since we will be doing two waves on this piece. I have all my products listed in my description for you. I will be using Moss Tabletop Epoxy and Armor Art Pigments and White. Moss is a two-part epoxy. This means you need to measure part A and part B equally. That means if you have two ounces of part A, you should have two ounces of part B. It's really important to get your measurements as close to perfect as possible. This will ensure a good cure. Please remember that as you mix your epoxy together to scrape the sides of your cup, usually there's one part of the epoxy that sticks to the sides of the cup and to the bottom of the cup and it's really important to get that epoxy off the sides and mixed into the rest of the resin. Here I am dividing my epoxy into the different color cups. Remember to have a cup for clear epoxy which you can leave in the first cup and also for your white. Armor Art pigments are amazing. They are highly pigmented, so please use sparingly, especially if you are going for a more translucent look. You barely need to use any, as you can see here. It should last you, if you're doing a lot of translucent pores, it should last you years. After mixing my color cups, I'm now placing my product. I'm going from dark to light, but really you can place your colors anywhere you want to to make the piece your own. At the last minute, I decided to leave a little bit of my pigment unmixed in this middle color cup. I just wanted to see what would happen and what kind of texture I could get if I left it just a little bit unmixed, and it's kind of cool. Next is time for our first wave. For this one, I decided to do a little bit thicker of a line because I wanted to push my wave all the way to the top of my piece, so I needed a little bit more pigment in order to do that. If you watched my first video on lacing, you'll notice that I always hold my heat gun at a horizontal angle. This ensures that the pigment skims the surface instead of sinking. If you would like more information on lacing, I do have a video uploaded that gives all sorts of tips and tricks on getting different kinds of lacing effects. Most resin companies recommend waiting at least six to eight hours before applying a second layer to your piece. Of course, there's lots of variables in this, such as the heat of your room or the humidity or the pigments you're using. A really cool tip to do is to take a Q-tip and press it into your drippings. And if it doesn't pull off any hairs of the Q-tip, then it's probably ready for a second pour. If you go too early and pour your second layer on when it's not ready and you use a heat gun, it can warm up that first layer and potentially ruin it. For my second wave, I'm actually gonna show you a different way to apply your color. I place my clear line first, and then I reserve a little bit of that clear in a cup for my white pigment later. Then I'm going to add my lightest color first. After I place my light blue color, I go back and in the same cup add a darker color. I really like using this technique because I like meshing my colors so that they're more cohesive in the end. So the darker blue will still have a little bit of the lighter blue tint in it and so I can blend it all out. Now it's time for the white for the wave. 
Since my bottom layer is already cured, we're fine using our heat gun for the second layer. Again, I'm gonna do a thicker line because I want more pigment in order to blow it all the way to the top because that's the look I'm going for. For this piece, I'm not as concerned about my timing when I'm applying my waves because I'm letting my waves flow off the piece anyway for this look. But if you're gonna do a different type of wave, something closer to the crest of the wave, I recommend waiting at least 15, 20 minutes. Of course, play with your timing just to get it to stay where you want it to be. I encourage you to really experiment with your colors. There's so many different types of effects you can get just by adding your colors in different ways, mixing them differently, adding powder pigments, or anything else to them to make it more interesting. It's always fun to experiment with new ideas. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I can't wait to see what you guys create on your own using these tips and tricks. And thank you for your ideas for new content.